Nine powerful lessons from ego is the enemy. When we remove ego, we're left with what is real. What replaces ego is humility. Yes, but rock hard humility and confidence. Whereas ego is artificial, this type of confidence can hold weight. Ego is stolen, confidence is earned. It's the difference between potent and poisonous. The only real failure is abandoning your principles. Kill. Hang what you love because you can't bear it apart from it is selfish and stupid. If your reputation can't absorb a few blows, it wasn't worth anything in the first place. The problem is that when we get our identity tied up in our work, we worry that any kind of failure will then say some thing bad about us as a person. It's a fear of taking responsible Eddie, of admitting that we might have messed up. It's the sunk cost fallacy. And so we throw good money and good life after bad and end up making everything so much worse. If success is ego intoxication, then failure can be a devastating ego blow turning slips into falls and little true pulls into great unravelings. If ego is often just a nasty side effect of great success, it can be fatal during failure. With accomplishment comes a growing pressure to pre tend that we know more than we do to pretend we already know everything. Scientia infla knowledge buffs up. That's the worry and the risk thinking that we're set and secure, when in reality understanding and mastery is a fluid, con, continual process. It doesn't matter how talented you are, how great your connections are, how much money you have. When you want to do something, something big and important and meaningful, you will be subjected to treatment ranging from indifference to outright sabotage. Count on it. Those who have subdued their ego understand that. It doesn't degrade you when others treat you poorly. It degrades them. One must ask if your belief in yourself is not dependent on actual achievement. Then what is it dependent on the answer? Too often when we are just setting out is nothing ego. And this is why we so often see precipitous rises FOL load by calamitous falls. But change begins by hearing the criticism and the words of the people around you. Even if those words are mean-spirited, angry, or hurtful, it means weighing them, discarding the ones that don't matter, and reflecting on the ones you do. Ego leads to envy, and it rots the bones of people big and small. Ego undermines greatness by diluting its holder.